felt like I was a proper like Hollywood mogul of some sort, <laughs> splicing the film. Ba -ba 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 -ba. My name is Ed Petrie. I would describe myself as a jack of all trades. I am a, well, not all trades, about four trades. <laughs> I'm a TV presenter, actor, uh, and also a wedding celebrant. My work experience story goes back to when I was 14 years old. And like many things in my life, it was all thanks to my mum. She got chatting to the manager of the local cinema and somehow got me a job in the projection room for a week. So I was splicing film for trailers and after about a day of being shown what to do, the guy who was running the projection room just disappeared. So I was loading the reels for the films. You have to watch out for a little circle in the corner and then you nip up to the box, take, take the reel out, put the new reel in. And uh, I absolutely loved it. I would probably still be working there today if I could. <laughs> there were so many good things about that work experience week and I think one of the, the biggest things was the sense of responsibility because I, after a day or two I was basically in charge of running a projection room at a cinema that I had previously been a customer of and I couldn't quite believe that I was 14 years old and I, it was the Muppet Christmas Carol I remember I was running <laughs> and if I hadn't got those reels loaded up into the projector in time then I would have ruined the entire film for all the families that were there. Uh, so it, it was quite, quite nerve-wracking but also uh, for a 14 year old, there was a real sense of power. So I didn't really know what to expect when I started my week. And I couldn't quite believe that he was, he showed me how to cut the trailers for the adverts uh, and then left me to stick, stick them all together with bits of glue and things and splice ones for next week. Uh, so I was quite surprised that I was put in charge of that. And as he was showing me how to load the projector, I didn't quite take on board that he was expecting me to do it for the next film and after he looked over my shoulder for a couple of films he just seemed to disappear and my memory of it is that I was in there on my own for about four days straight <laughs> but I'm sure that can't be true but that's how it felt I felt like I'd been given uh, a great deal of power with great power comes great responsibility strangely I think the biggest challenge I faced during my work experience week it wasn't so much the the technical side of things it was the uh, interactions with people in the workplace but I think for a teenager, you, you can lack a bit of confidence when it comes to, you know, talking to grown-ups. And uh, it, was, it was a good experience to be talking to the public and uh, get my first taste of what it's like in a work environment. I think the most valuable thing I learned from my work experience was that I got a real sense of satisfaction out of entertaining people. I'd say that work experience was definitely a step on the way to what I do now, learning that what I love to do was entertain people. I think looking back I can see a real progression from going to the cinema, being interested in what's on screen, then working behind the scenes and then finally in my adulthood making it onto the screen myself. It definitely taught me that work could be fun and that has been one of my missions in life is to make it fun. That's probably my motto actually, make it fun. Anyone interested in the sort of career I do, performance-based, my advice would be a bit like the Nike slogan, just do it. It's, it's so easy now to make content. You can take your mum and dad's phone and create films, all sorts of stuff. So just keep on making mistakes and learning from your failures. <laughs> Everyone should have a work experience story.